Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, we're gonna be looking at all of my gray wigs. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. Today, I wanted to just take a quick look at all of my wigs that are gray, and I'll go over them with you one by one. Um, I've been trying to get more gray wigs in my wig closet because, you know, I've talked here on the channel about embracing your gray. I don't think I have completely done that, but I've come a long way from where I was. Now, what I'm wearing today is, this is Ellen Villa in Spring High Snow Mix. Now, let me turn around and let me let you all see this wig all the way around. And this hairline is beautiful on this wig. It's really gorgeous. It's easy to wear. You don't have to do anything. This wig comes right out of the box looking right like this. When I wear this wig, I get a lot of compliments. People simply love this wig. And I don't know if they love the wig on me or they just love the wig. Um, I do think this is a lovely wig. This is a pretty wig, but this is not my favorite gray wig, even though it does seem to be everybody else's. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, like I've said on this channel, we have to wear what we think is our best look. So I do love this wig, and I think this wig is gorgeous, but this is not my favorite gray wig, and I think it's because it's so short, and I haven't worn my hair this short in a while, and, but the wig is extremely comfortable, so maybe I need to rethink that. So I'm gonna move on next to a wig by the wig company that I have, and it's sitting right over here on the table, and it's a kind of a salt and pepper brown. So we're gonna take a look at it, hang on. Okay, this wig is uh, American Beauty by the wig company in color 17 slash 101, I think that's right, yes. Let me turn around, let me let you all see this. This is a brown gray wig and she is a curly little number and she has got a ton of permatease. Now, I will be honest and say, I do not wear this wig very much. I truly don't. Um, the wig is a lot of hair. The wig is a little bit big on me right up here, but I think this is a cute wig. I'm just not sure about how this wig looks on me, but I do love the va 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 voom -ish on top with this wig. I do love, the, I love the poof on this wig because y'all know I do love to poof up my wigs because I'm just an old country gal. I'm kind of like, you know, Dolly Parton country here. But I do think this wig is a, this is a totally different look for me. So um, I do think the wig is realistic. So if you want to check it out, this wig is at the wig company and I will try to drop a link to all these wigs. I will try to do that. Now, I don't know if I'll get to, but I will try to do that down in the description box. So, if I can find a link, if the wig is still available, I will let you all, I will let you all know. So, here's this wig. I'm gonna move right along to Noriko Sky. Hang on. Okay, so this is Noriko Sky in color Silverstone. So, let me turn around so you all can take a look at this wig. now. I have not had this wig out of the box in a while, so she is pretty much, <laughs> she doesn't seem to have any um, crimp, cold crimping or anything in her. I have been trying to store my wigs hanging upside down in my closet, and I think this is one of the ones I had stored like that, but this is a cute little shag. I love this wig. I have always liked this wig. From the first time I reviewed this wig, I've loved this wig. The wig has some permatease up here in the top, so you can certainly zhuzh this wig up if you want to. Um, very, very cute little wig. I do like the wig. I think the wig is definitely fun. Um, and this style is really versatile. Most anybody can wear this style of hair. Um, now, there are a few that, that probably can't, but most everybody can because of the layers and the way it frames your face. So let's move right along to the next one, which is gonna be Ellen Villa A Claw. Hang on. Okay, everybody, this is Ellen Villa A Claw in salt and pepper mix. Now let me turn around and let me let you all see this wig. The fibers on this wig, even from this wig to Spring High Snow Mix, the one I just showed you, 
The fibers on this are simply luscious. They really, really are. A claw is a hand-tied mono top with a lace front. The lace extends from here to here. And this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous wig. Look at that lace front. I mean, that's just really beautiful. The thing I like best about this wig is you can part it anywhere on top because of the mono top. I mean, it's just, you can do, you can pretty much, this moves like human hair. Now, this is a heat-friendly wig. Hence, your fibers are gonna be a little bit softer. I normally don't go for a heat-friendly wig just simply because I am not comfortable with them. But, you know, with this one, I will make an exception because this feels good. It's just a lovely, lovely wig. This is my new favorite, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure that it's my most beautiful wig on me, but I just love the feel of it. It feels good. It's not hot. It's lightweight. It's a wonderful wig. So let's move right on and let's look at some of the Hair Kitty Kitty wigs and an Amazon wig. Be right back. Okay, now this is Beckett. This is Beckett by Hair Kitty Kitty in color Smoke Show. Let me turn around. Let me let you see this wig. And I've just now taken the wig out and plopped her on my head. This is part of the Forever Young or Forever Wigs. I forget the name of the line. This is one of their house brand wigs. And this has got a lace front. Lace extends from here to here. It's got a monofilament part and little to no permatease. Now the fibers on this wig feel good. They feel nice. And you can zhuzh it up just a little bit if you want to on top. This is a totally different color than the Ellen Villa a claw. I don't know if you can see, they look similar, but this is more of a traditional salt and pepper, whereas a claw definitely has a blue cast to the wig. This does not. This is definitely a true gray. Let me get in here and let me let you see this. I really like Beckett. I think that the um, Forever Wigs Forever Young, whatever the name of the line is that my, main, my brain's just went, you know, my brain's just went south. Um, I think this particular line is really comparable to the better lines. It's, it's comparable definitely to Norico and to some of Ellen Villa's mid-range wigs, which are 200 plus. So I think this is comparable, definitely comparable to that. So, um, yeah, I mean... Do the fibers feel like a claw? They don't, but they feel pretty doggone good. I've just got to say, they feel pretty doggone good, and they are much more budget-friendly than a claw. So let's move right along, and let's go look at Alva by Noriko. Hang on. Okay, this is Noriko Alva in Silverstone, the same color that was... Um, I've got so many wigs up here. This is the same color that um, Sky was. It's the exact same color. Now, here's the wig all the way around. This particular wig, just like Sky, is your basic wig cap, no lace front, no nothing. It's got your hard, just your hard front right there and got the little bangs. Now, this is a cute little bob. Got a few layers in it, but not many. Little bit of permatease, got a permatease part right in here. And if I have any criticism of Sky, it's going to be this permatease part in this color. I think the part is makes it a little bit noticeable that it's a wig. So, so I usually get in there and just mess it up right like that. And then just kind of do something like this. And that kind of hides that permatease just a little bit. What I really need to do is just get a little bit of root powder and put that in there. And that would make a difference. But... I have also been told by some folks that this is my best wig so far. So I do like this wig and I like the way it feels. Now, this particular wig does have a lot of hair. Noriko wigs typically has been my experience that they are a rather hairy wig, but that's okay. That doesn't bother me. A pair of thinning shears will take care of that <laughs> right like that. So let's move right on to Ambrose by Hair Kitty Kitty in Smoke Show Rooted. Hang on. 
Okay, y'all, this is Ambrose in Smoke Show Rooted. So let me flip around and let me let you all see this wig. Now, Ambrose is a hairy wig as well. I have thinned on this wig just a little bit, and it is possible I might need to nip the bangs just a little bit. There is no permatease on top of Ambrose. She is gonna lay flat against your head. So this is gonna be more of a head-hugging type of wig right up here than um, some of the other wigs, than Beckett. Beckett is not extremely, doesn't have, you know, and I don't want it to seem like Beckett is extremely loaded down with permatease. She's not. She's just more easily zhuzhable right up here than Ambrose. Ambrose, there's no zhuzhing unless you take and redirect this hair with a hot comb or something. But Ambrose is a really versatile wig. I usually wear my Ambrose. I usually take this and go up right here with it or wear her back in a low ponytail. A lot of times I will do something right like this with Ambrose because that seems to suit me just a little bit better because I have a small head and if I get a real hairy wig, it just looks like I look like Cousin It. So, but I do love Ambrose. Obviously, I have five or six Ambrose wigs and 100% of the time when I wear Ambrose, I pull them back in a ponytail right here. And that's one reason why I like to have a lot of wigs because I have certain wigs that I do certain things with. So here's Ambrose. Love the wig. Love this wig too. Okay, this particular wig is an Amazon wig. This is a wig that I purchased myself and I reviewed on this channel. Um, it should be linked down in the playlist, but it may not be. So I will try to also hunt up my reviews to these wigs and post the links. Y'all know I'm not real good about that, but let me turn around, let me let you all see this wig. For the price, I think this wig was like $21.99 or something like that. I think this wig is well worth the money. The fibers feel nice and soft. The wig is very hairy though, as are most Amazon wigs. So you would probably need to go in and do some thinning on this wig. I am actually thinking about going in and cutting these bangs to just bangs because of course it's the hard front and I do think that that might look a little bit better if if that was cut. Now, I haven't worn this wig out of the house yet, but if I did, I would need to knock this shine down just a little bit with some uh, dry shampoo. It is very, very um, shiny. For a cheap wig, the fibers on this wig feel really good. The wig's got good movement. It's got a lot of bounce. I don't think it would hold up to daily wear because I don't think most Amazon wigs are going to do that. But I think for an occasional wear, I think this wig would be just fine, and it's cute. It's kind of like a little long shag, and the curl pattern is nice. It's a cute little wig. It's definitely worth the money. This has been all of my gray wigs, and Lord, I didn't realize I had that many. <laughs> God forgive me for stockpiling these gray wigs like this, but... I wanted to show them to you all so you could kind of compare. Let me know down in the description box which one is your favorite. I hope you all have a great day. I love you guys. God bless you. Maranatha folks. Bye-bye.